Creating a to-do list is one of the simplest things we can do to transform our day through our notes. There's a bunch of different ways to do it, and there's a couple things that you can do to make your practice much more effective. So I'm going to outline how I do my to-do lists with several different projects that I can keep track of everything. I also want to mention that you might see on the left-hand side this tasks bar. We do have a tasks feature that's in beta, but because it's in beta, I'm not going to talk about it in this video. There's a lot of improvements still being made to it, so we'll do a whole separate video on that feature once it's out. All right, so to start with, a lot of people approach their to-do list by just starting with a purist brain dump. That means just starting to list every single thing that you can think of that you might need to do. I like to go about it in a little bit more of a structured way. It kind of helps me think of everything. So to start off with, I am going to head over to my templates. That's under preferences, templates. And then I'm actually going to create one that is just called to do. And to start off with, I am going to have a category for habits. I'm going to have a category for my main work. I'm going to have a category for side projects. And finally, I'm going to have a personal category. Personal category is just anything that does not fall into my work. Might be, you know, changing the oil in my car, grocery shopping, things like that. So these are the categories that I personally use and kind of like to think about and categorize each of my to-dos in. So the habits I'm actually going to put in here because these theoretically will stay the same every day. So I'm going to say every day I want to exercise. I want to drink a liter of water. That's maybe not that much, but we'll say at least a liter. Let's say spend at least 20 minutes outside because it's winter and it's very cold right now. And I'll just stop there, but you could put in whatever habits you want to in there. The rest of these for my main work, let's say that I have, I don't know if that would be a checklist. Let's say that I've got my reflect work and let's maybe say consulting. So start up cooking my consulting practice. And then for side projects, I run a newsletter. So here I will use heads of growth, my newsletters category. And then personal, I'm not going to put anything there. I'm going to leave that blank. So this is all I do for my template. And this is what I'm going to call on each day. It's so going back to my daily note. I will now call on that to-do list and it pulls it right up. So this is one of the first things that I do in the morning. I just have that command and I instantly am ready to go. Sometimes they even do this the night before. That can be a kind of a relaxing evening activity to set your day out before it actually happens. So then in each of these, you can just go in and start creating to-do lists. So let's say email inbox zero. Let's say I'm going to record some demo videos. Uh, and I actually don't really have too many meetings, but let's say I'm going to have this meeting here. So I'm just going to add in that to the daily note. And I can even just put that in as a to-do list item if I want to. Let's say Startup Cookie, I'm launching a new website. So let's say launch website. And Heads of Growth, let's just say draft this week's newsletter. And then in personal, let's say, I'll just use my examples from before. Change oil in car. Uh, what was the other example? You go to the grocery store, I think. Go to the grocery store. Perfect. And now I have my whole day outlined ahead of me. I can go through, check each off. Let's maybe say that I didn't get to everything. And then what's nice is that for the next day I can go in and let's say it's the next morning. I can pull up my to-do list and I can instantly go see if there's anything that I want to pull into the next day. So all of these things that I didn't accomplish, it makes it really easy for me to just kind of paste them back into the list. I can also then look back on my days. If I want to leave them here, I can see what I did and didn't accomplish on a given day or I add in any other categories that I might want to do. So I know that this is a little bit of a complex to do structure because it's taking into account multiple projects, but I think it's pretty easy to see how you could simplify this for whatever system works best for you.